Hey kids, welcome to Wiggle Worship at Traders Point Kids Online. We are so happy you're here. Gather with your family as we continue our series called Blueprints. Today, we're going to worship together, hear a Bible story, and learn what to do when our emotions get the best of us. We will learn to stop, look, and listen. Hey there, my name is JP. I work here as a builder. I'm part of a construction crew that works together to build all sorts of projects from playgrounds to houses. Hey, I have an idea. Would you like to be my builder buddy and build with me today? Great. Before we can start building anything, we have to get ready for work. While we're on the job site, we have to put on our hard hats. Our hats are hard to protect our heads. So let me see you put your hat on. That looks great on you. Now we can't build anything until we have our tool belt on. Let me see you get your tool belt and I'll grab mine. Great job. Now that we're dressed and ready, let's get our bodies all warmed up and ready for worshiping together. Go ahead, you stand up right where you are. Let's worship. <laughs> Every day, because I know He loves me. 
Well, it's time to get to work. I'm excited about the project we get to work on today. I get to drive the big crane and lift some heavy beams at the top of the house. It's going to be awesome. Oh, builders, that sound means that we have a call coming in from my boss, Dozer. Dozer tells me the building plans for the day. So let's click a button on the side of the walkie-talkie and listen to Dozer. Come in, Dozer. You do that with me. Hold up your walkie-talkie and say, come in, Dozer. 10-4, Mac. Change in plans for today. Cat is going to be operating the crane, and I need you to clean up the front yard and make the front walkway look perfect. Over and out. What? Why does Cat get to drive the crane? He always gets to drive the big trucks. And now I have to do the stuff that no one wants to do, like cleaning the yard and fixing the walkway. This makes me so mad. Whoa, this warning light shows me that my emotions are getting out of control. These signs will help me know what to do with how I'm feeling. The first sign says to stop and think about what I'm feeling. And think that what I'm feeling right now is mad. Builder buddies, does my face look mad? Can you make a mad face like mine? That's right, I'm feeling mad. Now that I've stopped and figured out how I'm feeling, I need to look and figure out what's making me feel this way. I'm feeling mad because I really wanted to drive the crane today, but Cat gets to do it instead of me. Now that I've looked around to see what's making me feel mad, it's time to listen. We need to listen to what God's Word says. My friend Telly Toolbox tells me God's Word, and he has all the tools we need to fix any problem. Let's hear what the Bible has to say about what we can remember when we're feeling mad. Hi there, Builder Buddies. Listen up. Have I got a story for you. Whenever you don't know what to do with your feelings, the best thing to listen to is a story from God's Word. Do my Builder Buddies know what God's Word is? The Bible. That's right. This true story from God's Word is about Nehemiah. Can you say Nehemiah? Nehemiah! Nehemiah had moved to the king's palace and was one of the king's best helpers. One day, Nehemiah heard that the walls in his hometown were falling down. Nehemiah was upset because this meant that the people there were not safe. Nehemiah wanted to go home and help, and when he asked the king for permission to go, the king said yes. While Nehemiah and his friends were busy working on the wall, there were some people who became very angry. They shouted mean things and made fun of Nehemiah and the people working to rebuild the wall. This made Nehemiah mad, but he prayed and asked God to help him not let his anger make him do wrong things. God heard Nehemiah's prayer, and he helped him do what was right. God even helped Nehemiah and his friends rebuild the wall in record time. When you are feeling mad, God wants to help you too. Thanks for listening. Here's one of my special tools to help you remember what you heard from God's Word today. When you're feeling mad, God helps you. You can use me to help you remember that when I'm mad, God helps me so you don't blow your top. Now I know when I'm mad, God helps me. Listening to God's word and hearing that he helps me when I'm mad kept me from blowing my top and doing something that I would get in trouble for later. Builders, you give it a try. Say this after me. When I'm mad, God helps me. Wow, I don't feel mad anymore because I know that God helps me. The Bible tells us that Jesus is perfect, but he still treated everyone as more important than himself. He showed us this when he died on the cross for us so that we can be with God. If Jesus can love us more than himself, then I can love other people too. I'm going to practice this by being happy that Cat gets to drive the crane today. He really is good at it, and I'm glad because he's going to do a great job with it today. I'm so happy that Jesus put us first and died for us. God is the greatest. Man, I'm glad that I can be happy that Cat gets to drive the crane, but I still have work to do. 
Since you're here with me today, do you think you could help me clean the front yard and make the walkway look awesome? Great, let's grab our pretend brooms and sweep the walkway. Now, take out your wrench so we can tighten it up. Yeah, great job. Kelly Toolbox knew that we would need these wrenches to help us not blow our tops when we were so mad. We can put our wrenches away now. We did it, Builder Buddies. We cleaned up the front yard and made this walkway look amazing. We made this place look great for the family who will be moving in soon. Okay, it's time to pray. Praying is talking to God and you can pray with your eyes open or closed. When we close our eyes, it helps us focus on who we're talking to. Dear God, thank you that no matter what we're feeling, you help us. Please show us how we can stop, look, and listen. When we're feeling mad, we love you. We pray in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for your help today, Builder Buddy. On and off the job site this week, no matter what you're feeling, remember to stop and think about what you're feeling, then to look and see why you're feeling that way. If you're not sure, you can always ask help from your family. Then don't forget to listen what God says in his word. Today we listen to God's word and we learn that when we're mad, God helps us. Let me hear you say it after me one more time. When I'm mad, God helps me. Perfect. God will help you because he loves you and he's greater than our feelings. I hope you'll come back to the job site next week for another fun building project. Until then, I hope you have a handy dandy day. I can't stop and think about what I feel. I can look for help and see if what I feel is real. I can listen to hear what God has got to say. Then I can move along and have a good day. God is greater. Greater. Greater than our feelings and he knows, he knows everything. God is greater. Greater. Greater than our feelings and he knows, he knows everything. God knows everything. I can't stop and think about what I feel. I can look for help and see if what I feel is real. I can listen to hear what God has got to say. Then I can move along and have a good day. God is greater. Greater. Greater than our feelings and he knows. He knows everything. God is greater. Greater than our feelings and he knows, he knows everything, God knows everything. I can't stop and think about what I feel. I can look for help and see if what I feel is real. I can listen to hear what God has got to say. Then I can move along and have a good day. Then I can move along and have a good day. If God says jump around, I'm gonna jump, I'm gonna jump, cause I can trust him, yeah, I'm gonna jump. If God says stomp your feet, I'm gonna stomp, I'm gonna stomp, cause I can trust him, yeah, he knows what's best, he knows what's best. Stand real still, I'm gonna freeze, I'm gonna freeze, cause I can trust him, yeah, he knows what's best, he knows what's best, so who knows best?
gonna shh, I'm gonna shh, cause I can trust him, yeah, I'm gonna shh. that lesson as much as I did. When our feelings get the best of us, we need to stop, look, and listen. Stop and realize how you feel. Look around to see why you feel that way. And listen to the Bible. And remember that God loves you. Be sure to sit down with a parent or someone at home and tell them what you've learned today. They also have some discussion questions for you. It was so fun hanging out with you today. We hope to see you again next week.